In today's video, we're discussing how to restore vCenter from backup. If you've ever faced the challenge of recovering your vCenter environment, you're in the right place. To begin the restoration process, we'll go through two stages. The first stage involves deploying a new appliance, while the second one pushes the backed up configuration to it. Before we dive in, if you've used an encryption password in your backups, ensure you have it ready as you'll need it later in the process. This is today's lab setup. Our previous video, we explored the essential topic of backing up vCenter server appliance. We walked through configuring automated and manual backup. If you missed that video, make sure to check it out. Let's join with Screencast. Start by mounting the ISO of the vCenter appliance and launch the UI installer. Once you're in, click on Restore. Read the introduction and click Next. Then read and accept the license agreement, then click Next to continue. Proceed to the Enter Backup Details page. Here, you'll need to provide the location of your backup. Specify the protocol, but note that you don't have to type the full path. Use protocol, colon IP or FQDN to bring up a file browser. Insert credentials for the FTP servers. Select the folder associated with the backup Review your backup information and click Next. The subsequent steps in Stage 1 are similar to a regular appliance deployment. Enter details for the deployment target, such as an ESXi host or a vCenter server. I will select my ESXi server as target. Accept the certificate thumbprint. Set the VCSA VM name and root password. Then select deployment size. Next select data store provisioning type. In this page you can configure or edit network settings. Review the deployment details and click finish. The deployment of the new appliance will start. Wait for it to finish. Click Continue, and that concludes Stage 1. Now, the second stage is much faster. Hey tech enthusiasts! Subscribe for more tech deep dives. Help us reach 1000 subscribers. Hit subscribe button. Let's explore tech together. Now, back to the video. Click Next on the introduction page. If you used an encryption password, enter it now. If the old appliance is still running, shut it down to avoid network conflicts. Afterward, click Finish. Note that you can't pause or stop the restore process once it begins. After initiating the process, all you need to do is wait for it to complete successfully. Once done, 
you'll have access to the V Center with a freshly restored backup bringing you back to a production-ready state. Restoring from a backup is a crucial aspect of maintaining a resilient infrastructure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech content, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.